I sat in that jail cell and thought about all the things I had done and seen in my life. Married twice, been in the Army and the Navy, at home and overseas, an undertaker, worked on railroads and a farmer. I've been in a tornado, seen a man burnt alive and a woman flogged. As all this passes, I learn a lot about myself. I was not a bad man, but I did something wrong and now I'm in the pen. I thought long and hard about what I did and I couldn't even remember. The things I do to get out of here. Maybe I'd go down south to Florida and start my life over. So when I broke out of jail, that was the goal. Breaking out wasn't easy, but I knew if I wanted to live free ever again, I'd have to get to Florida. I couldn't get noticed. We started to make our way down south to Florida. We didn't have the grades to cars. So maybe it was a stroke of good fortune to find a car on the shoulder of the road. The problem was that there was a family near the car. It was two parents, two kids, and an old woman. We thought we could take the car with no harm, but the old one realized who I was. The damn kids were being so annoying. <laughs> the one son was being reckless. I told Haram and Bobby Lee to take the boys out into the woods. They brought me back the big one shirt. They asked me if I'd shoot a lady. And I said that I didn't want to. Then I had to take the mother and the little girl out there. Then I was all alone with the grandmother. Now it was me and the old lady. She kept telling me I was a good man from good blood. I told her I wasn't good, but I'm not the worst. We was talking about Jesus and I rose from the dead. I told her that he shouldn't have risen, though everything off balance. Then she said, you're my child. Something snapped at me. I pulled the trigger three times and killed her. I didn't want to kill the poor thing. She would have been a good woman if it had been somebody there to shoot her every minute of her life. I felt some guilt for shooting her. There really isn't any pleasure in life anyway. But I knew I had to move on if I stayed. I would just get caught. So I took the car and we continued down south. I think about that old woman often. She was so sure prayer and Jesus would help me, but I don't want to know how. I'm doing fine by myself. Maybe now I'll remember all the things I do.